That's like you being out of the shower in an air conditioner all the time. What's going to happen to your body? Okay, and we can only go so low before we need to eat. So how, what do we do to the burn ward? Now it's 98 degrees humid. What else is it? It's 102 degrees, which is warmer than they are, so some of the heat should go into their body, correct? So we're getting 102 degrees with 98% humidity to protect the patient because they don't have skin. They don't lose their food, they don't lose their heat. In addition to that, skin protects us against infection. So what do you think we had to wear while we were working with these patients? Sterile gowns. Cotton sterile gowns. Bonnet, masks, gloves, booties. Because they don't have anything to protect them against infection, so I have to cover my germs up with a sterile gown. Now it's 102, 90 degrees, and I'm in a sterile cotton gown. It wasn't uncommon to lose five pounds in a day. Just you sweating and losing your weight that way. There are no fat people working in ISR. All right, but that's all because we lost the skin. When you listen to news or you listen to things, they say, had a 20% body burn, and they burned over 20% of their body. Where did they come up with that 20%? Any idea? Let's show me 20% of your body. Okay, 10 and 10. That's my best 20%. Okay. So how do they come up with it? They use the rule of nines. The rule of nines. This is the way we estimate the body surface. So we're looking at BSI. Body surface area. Total body surface. How much... How much skin did they get damaged? Did they lose? The rule of nines is we're looking at the body, both anterior, it's happy face, posterior, the anal face. All right. So we got anterior, posterior, and we divide up the body into percentages by categorizing them in nines. So an arm is nine percent. Arm nine percent. Arm, 9%, since we got two of those, the arms are worth 18% of our body surface. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. The head, front, back, sides, whatever, the entire head is worth 9%. Okay. So if I just burn my face, it's 4.5%. If I just burn the back of my head, it's 4.5%. Side of my head, 4.5%. Whole head is 9%. <coughs> All right. We have to divide <coughs> our abdominal, our anterior part of our body, okay, into a chest and abdomen. Chest is 9%. <coughs> abdomen is 9%. So now we got chest and abdomen, um, chest, Ab uh, dole is 18%. So if I just burn my chest, it's 9%. If I just burn my abdomen, it's 9%. But if I burn both, it's 18%. You got to remember that 18% goes mid axillary line. So we come around to this point, then we got the backside we got to deal with. All right. Since we're here, We've already covered the arms because it's 9%, the head's covered. The back, 9%, and the lower back, 9%. So our entire back is 18%. So back. So now we have to look at the legs. The legs are 18 each. And that 18% also covers, so it's like 9 in front, 9 in back. Okay. 9 in front, 9 in back.
legs are 36 years. No, we'll get there. This area right here? Yeah, we'll talk about that area right there. Oh, I forgot the head. The head. Yeah, head. 9%. Okay, so we got 54 plus 36 is 90 plus 9% for the head, or 99%. All right, so we just forgot the head. Okay, 1% left, and we know that the whole surface is 100%, correct? So now the question about the groin, how much is that area worth? 1%. 1%. Ladies, whatever your boyfriends tell you, it's only 1%, okay? So this area right here is 1% because our back and this has to include our buttocks too. It's not a separate area. All right, so that's the rule of nines and how we figure out percentage of burns. So let me give you a scenario. A patient comes in, face, chest and abdomen, anterior arms burn. They were sleeping in the sun down near Corpus. Had a towel over the rest of them, but this is the part that was exposed. So they are burned on their face, chest, abdomen, anterior arm. How much do they burn? Face is four and a half. All right, not the whole head, just the face. Nine for the chest, nine for the abdomen. And since each arm is nine total, half of the arm would be four and a half, four and a half would be nine percent for the arm. So that's 2731.5 percent. You see how that works? Anybody got a problem with that? Okay, let me give you another scenario. Same idiot, recovered from this burn, went back down to corpus, and he said, I'm, I'm not going to get burned this time. So he lays on his stomach. Okay. And he's got a pair. He's, he's got a pair of speedos on. Okay, so he's he's pretty pretty exposed. He's got the buns covered. That's about it. Now he burns the back of his head, his entire back, and the backs of his legs. Now what percentage is that? Okay, back of his head, four and a half. Because he also shaved his head. Four and a half, for, and then nine for the upper back, nine for the lower back, and nine and nine for the legs. And remember, legs were 18, so you burn half of them. One, two, three, four, that's 36, plus four and a half equals 40.5% burn. What if I just burn my forearm? Just this forearm. What would be the percentage? The whole half. arm is nine. Three and a half. So we can go, this part's four and a half. This part's four and a half. But I only burn half of it. So it'd be two and a quarter. Yes? Okay. That was me. I was an idiot to burn two and a quarter percent of my body surface point. Scalding hot water. My little coffee pot tipped over. The hot water had a long sweatshirt on, so the sweatshirt held the water there longer. Took the sweatshirt off, and the skin came with it. Just, it cooked it so fast that when I took the sweatshirt off, pop, 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 some skin hit the floor. I peeled a few pieces off that looked a little ragged through them, and said, I'm fine, until all the lymph started to leave, heat up on my arm, and I started losing water immediately. So I went to the hospital. And they decided, yep, that's a burn. Took a scrub brush, cleaned all that meat off of there, and then they put their fancy little silvadine cream, that white cream stuff they put on it. Left scars. I get one of my war wounds. Any questions on burns? <laughs> 